dear friends and faithful believers, with hearts brimming with hope and gratitude, we warmly welcome each of you gathered here today on the channel. May the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. We come together in this virtual space, united by our shared faith and love for our community. It is during times like these that our bond as a faith family becomes even more significant, providing us with the strength and comfort we need to face life's challenges. In recent days, the state of Nebraska in the United States has experienced a series of devastating storms, bringing with them tornadoes and winds reaching up to 100 miles per hour. These powerful natural forces have wreaked havoc across the region, blowing away homes, toppling trees, and leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. The aftermath of these storms is truly heartbreaking, with images of destroyed homes, downed trees, and flooded roads serving as a stark reminder of the fragility of our existence and the unpredictable nature of the world we live in. As we witness the devastation caused by these storms, our hearts go out to the residents of Nebraska who are grappling with the aftermath of such a catastrophic event. The loss and suffering experienced by these individuals and families are immense, and it is during these times of profound hardship that we must turn to our faith for solace and strength. Our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us to love and support one another, and now, more than ever, it is crucial that we embody these teachings by extending our prayers and assistance to those affected by this disaster. Let us come together in prayer, lifting up those who have lost their homes, their loved ones, and their sense of security. Let us ask for God's mercy and grace to be upon them, providing them with the courage and resilience needed to rebuild their lives. In moments of despair, it is our faith that anchors us, reminding us that even in the darkest of times, there is a glimmer of hope and the promise of a new dawn. We also take this opportunity to reflect on the importance of community and the power of collective action. Just as Jesus taught us to be the light in the world, we too can be a beacon of hope and support for those in need. Whether through donations, volunteer efforts, or simply offering a kind word, each act of kindness contributes to the healing and recovery of those affected by this tragedy. As we move forward, let us keep the people of Nebraska in our thoughts and prayers. May they find the strength to overcome the challenges they face and the support of a compassionate community to help them through these trying times. Remember that through faith, hope and love, we can overcome even the greatest of adversities. May the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ continue to guide us, providing us with the wisdom and compassion to act in service of others. Together, as a faith community, we can make a difference, offering light and hope to those in the darkest of times. River levels rose to record highs, forcing hundreds to evacuate and killing at least a people. In Iowa, Governor Kim Reynolds declared a disaster for affected counties, opening the way for federal aid. The Little Sioux River surged over its levees, causing damage to homes and businesses. In the southern area of Sioux City and Woodbury County in Iowa, residents said they had little warning about the flooding and the severity of the flooding. Local officials said the river rose higher than expected, making it difficult to protect the levees. The flooding has also taken a toll on wildlife. The Four River Wildlife Lodge in northwest Iowa has received more than 200 calls since the flooding began. The shelter manager said the flooding has been catastrophic for wildlife, with animals being swept away from their dens, injured and separated. To the east in Humboldt, Iowa, water levels are expected to reach a record 16 feet 5 meters on June 26. Nearly 68,000 sandbags have been placed on levee areas to hold back flood waters. Local officials say flood waters have already begun to inundate some backyards and home foundations. The National Weather Service predicts that western Iowa and eastern Nebraska could see damaging hail and high winds, while parts of South Dakota and Minnesota could see showers and thunderstorms. Flooding could continue to worsen over the next few days 
as water flows into the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. In Michigan, more than 150,000 homes and businesses were without power on the morning of June 25th after severe thunderstorms hit. Less than a week after a storm left thousands without power four days in suburban Detroit. In Minnesota, more than 20 areas are expected to experience major flooding, with warnings that flooding could last through the weekend. Governor Tim Walz urged residents not to rebuild their homes too quickly, but to focus on making lasting repairs to prevent or mitigate future flooding. In these difficult times, we cannot help but think of God's presence. He is a source of comfort and strength in the darkest moments of our lives. When faced with natural disasters and seemingly insurmountable challenges, our faith may be shaken. But remember that God is always with us, guiding and protecting us through all trials and tribulations. We can pray for those who have lost loved ones, for families who are experiencing loss and grief. Let us offer sincere prayers to God, asking Him to give them the strength to overcome this pain. Each of us can be a light in the darkness. In these challenging times, let us unite and support each other. Love and compassion can help us overcome all difficulties and restore what has been lost. Let us open our hearts to love and help, because it is in those small acts that we find great strength to carry Owen. No matter how devastating the storms may be, we trust that a greater power is protecting us. Let us pray for Nebraska, for its people, and for all those who are facing natural disasters. Let us offer heartfelt prayers to God, asking Him to give them the strength to overcome this pain. Because no matter what, we can find hope and light in the Lord who is with us dot dot. As we look back at the images of destroyed homes, fallen trees, and roads littered with debris, our hearts ache. But let us believe that from this devastation, we can rebuild, stronger and more resilient. God never abandons us, and He is always present to guide and protect us. Let us pray for Nebraska, for its people, and for all those facing natural disasters. Let us trust that, with God's help, we can overcome any challenge and find light in the darkness. Because no matter what, we can find hope and light in God, who is with us.